We have a very special guest speaker this afternoon, and the name is Mr. Paul W. Bergen, who is an attorney. Now, Jehovah told me that he was a very, very, very special person. And when I looked at his biography and saw that he was in the United States Army Reserve, mm -hmm. I knew that we had something in common. I knew I liked this guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I also, also was a major in the, in the New Jersey Army National Guard, retired in 1996 coming out of the 50 Army Division headquarters, so we have a lot in common. So maybe we can talk about the New Jersey Army National Guard and Army Reserve once this is all over. Let me tell you just a little bit of something about this guy. Besides him being in Reserve, he's an attorney. And look at his credentials. He's from Morganville, New Jersey. He was commissioned June the 2nd, 1980, which means that he can retire now and pass receive a check like I will once I get 60 years old. <laughs> but we keep on working until we get to 60 and start getting the checks and then we go ahead and retire. And I looked at his credentials and I saw that he's in the Georgia Avenue General Section of the Army Reserve and that he's been constantly receiving additional education from 1980 to 1989. 19 years he's been constantly going to the school in the military. And I know that must be a lot of enjoyment. He graduated from Brooklyn. Brooklyn College with a BA cum laude, which means that he must be mighty smart. He also graduated from Hofstra Law School, and he received his Juris Doctorate there. Now, he's also a practicing attorney in the law firm downtown. Attorney partner with Pope, Bergen, and Badesco on Market Street. He, to me, he looks like one of those Wall Street attorneys. And we're glad this afternoon to have you here to be our guest speaker. And any time you want to come back, all you guys do is just contact your husband or contact myself and have your back in the stair again. Again, I must say welcome, sit back, relax, and enjoy the afternoon. Thank you. Listen, uh, are you are agreed to be on Creative Spirits Board of Directors. What other boards of community organizations are you a part of or have been a part of? I've been a part of the Lifers Group at East Jersey State Prison, which essentially advises and supports individuals sentenced to life in prison. I guide them. I'm really their foundation. Um, I've been a member of the NAACP, and that's essentially it right now. Oh, okay. So uh, we almost have you all to ourselves, except for your work. <laughs> that's correct. Good, because we need all the help we can get. Uh, your personal opinion of the Ministry of Justice? I think the Ministry of Justice, supported by most of the black ministers throughout the state of New Jersey, really throughout the United States, is a group that can have an impact on individuals' lives. And I think that you've taken drastic steps to make sure that you affect positively the community and the lives of other individuals. You've essentially dedicated your entire life and every minute, every breathing minute that you have, I, mean, I see you around the courthouse consistently. And I was very, very impressed at the last meeting that I went to with your dedication, devotion, and essentially the introduction that you received. So I think that the Ministry of Justice, I think that your organization could have a great profound impact upon every youth in the United States of America. Well. You know, we love people. I, like myself, went through some trying times in life, and I could have become bitter. But instead, I took that negative energy and put it in a positive way. Well, you should be proud of that. Yes, I am. Um, I'm proud of myself. I'm happy with myself. I'm thankful that I was able to do it, you know, because at one time, I felt like I was going to just hate. So. Um, I find it to be a blessing, and I know a lot of our listening audience out there, they've been through some trying times, and a lot of them are suffering from their own anger, and I would like for them to use us as an example and to take that negative energy and cast it aside and use it to build on their efforts to help make them stronger. You know, we don't let these little mishaps take us down and don't let breed off of hate. This is Gerald Saluti, outstanding trial attorney, one of the best in the United States of America, and Brooke Barnett, aspiring trial attorney. 
who is building a great career from the foundation up. Members of my staff, members of my community, and people I strongly believe in. How many people do you have on staff? We have about 20 individuals total, including all the secretaries, receptionists, paralegals, clerks, investigators. It's a commission from, as a lieutenant in the United States Army from the President of the United States. This award is from the United States Department of Justice for serving as an assistant United States attorney with the Department of Justice. This is an award that I received from the correction officers of the state PBA as PBA Man of the Year in 1999. This is an award I received from the Federal Bureau of Investigation for volunteer, volunteering and helping their employees. This is a state PBA award that I received for representing police officers throughout the state of New Jersey. Other awards from different PBAs. I'm a member of the different bars. I'm a member of the New Jersey Bar, New York Bar, Florida Bar, and the Bar of the Washington, D.C. As far as legal military service, um, I'm a member, I passed the Judge Advocate General Course Basic Course, the Judge Advocate General Course Advanced Course. I took the Command and General Staff College as an officer in the United States Army as well as terrorism training, counter-terrorism training in Washington, D.C. Essentially, that's, that's about it. Okay, well, Mr. Bergen, Bergen, thank you so very much. Not just for what you have enlightened our audience, but also the support that you're giving us. And hopefully, if we ever need you legally, that we can afford you, or uh, in the meantime, we do have your advice, am I correct? That's correct, okay. you have my support. Okay, and thank you so very much. You're so very welcome. Corruption and drugs of all kinds.